Do you remember this tune? 99% of iPhone users have this as the default ringtone. We go to our pockets when we hear this tune in the public places like airport, railway station, only to find out that our neighbor's phone was ringing and not ours. Today, we are going to change that. Keep watching till the end to know how to get your own custom ringtone in an iPhone. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you three easy steps that you can master and make your own custom ringtones. So first, we need to go to Safari. I can choose any of the songs and press download. So once this prompt comes, click on the download button and on top right hand side, your song will be downloaded. So you can tap on top on the down arrow. And now after we have downloaded the song, we can go to the next step. That is, we have to go to the app called GarageBand. And here you are prompted by a message saying that point your iPhone, blah, blah, blah. Just press on OK. So once you are done with that, click on the third icon on the top left hand side. It looks like stack of bricks, but it's actually called projects. So you can tap on that. So here we got the template or the canvas on which we can keep the song and edit the song. So here in this step, we are going to edit it and make it a beautiful ringtone. So once when you are inside the app of the GarageBand, you have to do few things. First, make sure your metronome is ticked off. This is the metronome and you should turn it off. Next, you have to go to the settings and make sure your time ruler is turned on because we want to see the seconds. Otherwise, the bars will be shown and bars don't represent the time. For the ringtone to work, we need the ringtone to be within 30 seconds. And next, we need to press the plus icon on the right side. Here it is set as automatic. So here I will just increase it to maybe 100. And then, so I got a better and a bigger canvas. So I want to see the entirety of the song. So I increase the number of bars to 100. You can make it as much as you want. Make it 200, 300, how much ever you want. Now, the next step is getting the song down. For the song, press on the loop sign or the omega sign and here on the under files, we can see this song that we downloaded. So just drag it and drop it. We'll take the playhead and move it around to play and see where we like our cuts to be. So we need two cuts. So first at the beginning of the song and another at the end of the song. So generally I like to place the first cut where the beat starts dropping. So here. The beat is dropping in front so i'll make a cut there and at the end here at the 115 mark so how do i do that i'll just double tap the song and tap on the split icon so once i get the split icon it is like a scissor we can just drag it along and make the two cuts so here i'll make it cut in the beginning so just cutting it and pulling it down Next, I'll make another cut. So I'll take the scissor again, again, pull it down from top to down. So I made the second cut. So I got both the cuts. Now, what do I do? I'll just have to delete the rest of the songs that I don't want. So I'll delete like that. And I'll delete like this. So there was another additional cut here by mistake. I can delete that too. So I got the song down, which I'm going to make it as ringtone. Since the song is in the middle, we need to put it in front. We'll just tap it and drag it. So in case if your song is in the middle and not in the front, then Apple will play the blank song. It, there'll be no music at all. It will just be blank. And then after a few seconds, your ringtone will start ringing. So we don't want that. So I place the song in front. So here we got the song down and here the song is about 40 seconds. So I wouldn't mind that because Apple will automatically reduce it to 30 seconds. So once I got everything done, kind of. So next is the easy part. We'll just press the down icon from top and go to my songs. So in my songs, I got my song saved. So here I will again hold on to it and I can share it as ringtone. So here the Apple says since it was 40 seconds, Apple says it need to be adjusted. So they themselves will adjust it automatically. Uh, so don't worry about it just press continue if you want to be precise you can see the timestamps and make it accordingly otherwise apple will do it by themselves press continue 
and our ringtone is done so we can export it so once it is exported you can see the song here or we can go to the settings so here i am in the settings i'll go to sound and haptics and then go to ringtone here my song is there i'll just tap it and play i'm not playing the full song because of copyright reason i hope that you liked this video and if it really was useful for you and you really liked it please hit the like button it will mean a lot for me and it inspires me to make more videos like this thank you and have a nice day see ya